Gang, gang, gang shit. YouTube, what's really good? It's your boy Sci-Fi Kick Simmons, and you already know how we rocking with new reviews and unboxings. Kidding? Got Kazu on the spot. You already know, man. Bloody shots on this tag. You feel me? Y'all know the vibes. Back for another video. You feel me? At the at the most infamous spot right here, where everything you know, everything becomes magical, man. You feel me? For a sneak ahead, pause. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, man. We got this new pickup um from Stock X, man. For for y'all that may not know what it is, uh, we have reviewed this before, um, as a pickup from DH Gate, but this time we got the official tissue version of the Gatorade Sitches, all right, y'all. So we're just gonna do a comparison on the eighty dollar pair. Of DH Gate Gatorade Sixes to the uh, retail version um, that I got for resale on StockX, man. Alright? Back to business. Kazu, tell them what they gotta do, right, man. So, what y'all gotta do is like and subscribe, you know? We try and hit the. We try and get a thousand subscribers. On right? the road to a thousand subscribers, y'all. Shots on this tag. Hey, bitch, on my dick, cause she heard him, I'm next. next. Thinking about this box right now. Mm, the box ain't that bad, you know. Actually looking good. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I like the box. You feel me? Um, it, it's definitely dope. I think the colors together, the orange and green, Indeed. is dope. All right, so so let's 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 see what this is about. All right, guys. So we got the DJ version of the Gatorade Sips is here, and we got the uh. Retail version from Stock Edge of the Greater Race Six is here. Okay, as you know, um, this is the incorrect box for these Gator Race Sixes. This is the white and orange colorway, not the all green suede colorway. All right, so the all green um colorway is supposed to come in this box. The white and orange one, of course, comes in this correct box right here. Now, automatically, when you get replicas. They do, how can I say, cut corners. So this box right here is naturally gonna save the money because it is, uh, it is, uh, the quality is less as good as the original box. And, um, I mean, just look at the size, uh, it's so much smaller than, than what you would get for the original box, all right? So that's the two comparisons on the boxes right here. <clears throat> Alright, so for this one, we got size 11 right there. The tag looks perfect. Everything is good. Jumpman is good. Jumpman on the front of the box. Alright? <clears throat> and this one, of course, it has a uh, mic and it has the Gatorade branding right there, all right, y'all? So, that's just all. Oh, yeah, and size 11 also on the tag. <clears throat> so, now, we're going to set these two apart and take these out the box and see what's what. All right, you guys. So, here we have it. Um... On the replicas from DHgate, you have um, 23 uh, paper right here, okay? 23 paper. And you have, uh, for the retail pair, black um, thin plastic, okay? And that's, that's what you get as far as uh, the first presentation when you open the boxes. Uh, so these came from Stock X. So you will be getting a Stock X uh, card, authentication card. All right, so that's that. Of course, um, the DHgate versions won't come with a Stock X 
uh, any stock X items unless you're probably getting the unauthorized authentic quality ones then then that might be a different story all right so uh let's get into the shoe all right guys so we have both at hand right now uh one of course is the dh gate 80 dollar pair and the other one is the retail version business of course these are the retail ones from stock X, and these are the authentic um pause the fake the replica ones from dh gate all right now off the back what i see the difference is are the tongues okay the tongues uh, uh stand out to me right there all right guys as you can see this tongue looks very loose and flappy so does this one um now you guys could be saying well that's because the the shoelaces are tied to the top of the retail ones all right well just off of trying to move the retail ones they barely even move okay these are real loose okay like and, and, and just like that okay that's the first thing i see um second of all let's let's go into the jordan let's go into the jordan logo all right <clears throat> so you know here we got a jordan logo now it doesn't look bad it doesn't look that bad at all okay i mean he got somewhat of a butt crack you feel me pause but it does not look that bad at all all right now um then again he does kind of look like a stick figure so i mean to each his own but in my opinion if i'm walking in the street with these Ain't no, the Jordan looks pretty good enough for nobody to know, you feel me? I only see it like this is because I have the other pair right beside. Now, if you look at this Jumpman and this Jumpman, you see that the size difference is there. It's a big difference in size, okay, guys? So, that's one thing that I picked up. Um, between the comparison of both of these all right um now we're gonna go into the the shade of orange cuzzle uh in your opinion do they look like the same orange no they look like two different oranges two different oranges all right so let i mean let, let's zoom up a little bit all right yeah all right so let's zoom up a little bit we got that we got that now in my opinion which one looks more like a darker orange to you the authentic okay so, all right i kind of saw the same thing <clears throat> i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's really hard to tell like i said you walking outside with these if you don't have these to to compare it to you won't know you get what i'm saying uh in my opinion that's how close the the colors are to, to me in my opinion um the difference i do find now to remind y'all these are the same size okay these are the same size they're both size 11s but what i do notice is the front of the shoe number one this is more like a smooth material and if you feel this cuzzle, you, you want to feel the differences? Yeah. That's more smooth. This is more like a suede yeah. feel. Feeling material, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Another thing I realized is that this cup right here seems like it comes out a little shorter than the Authentics. Like, like... If we try to line them up, it's just, I don't know, in my opinion, that cut is different. If we look at these three holes right there, all right, the three holes right there, they're not really detailed. 
the hoes or not, let's focus or not. Damn, focus! Oh, shoot. Where? Alright, so look. Look at these four holes, actually. Look at the four holes here. Now look at the holes here. You can clearly see the holes here are more, much more perforated than those. Okay? Like, you can barely see those. You can see it more here. Um... What else? What else we getting into? Uh, let's get into lace locks, man. <clears throat> so we gotta get into lace locks, y'all. <laughs> All right. So these are the lace locks that came with the. Uh, Replica Priya, okay? Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh -oh. But let's bring the other lace locks. <laughs> so, right off the rip, this looks like, this, this um lace lock looks much larger than these. Okay? Much larger. Um, what else? The Jordan, the Jordan, the Gatorade branding on the lace locks is so much faded on this version right here than this. Okay, and most of all, the orange part is much bigger than that one. This one is a shorter. Um top part of the lace lock so that's another thing uh, I, I found different all right so we're gonna toss these keep one pair toss these all right now we got them side to side <clears throat> Alright, first thing uh my cousin brought up. What was our cousin? What what did you notice the first thing you noticed? Look at the color right here. Uh-huh. And look at the color right here. This one is way darker. Oh. Uh, you see? And look yeah. at the bubble. The bubble's way more. <laughs> it's like you see more of the bubble. Alright, so what he's trying to say is um the bubbles, for example. I don't know if you can see the difference. These are the replicas. These are the authentics. Okay. Um. Now the tone alone is different. Okay, they look pretty close, but the bubble on the replicas alone is a much bigger, thicker bubble, and the shape of it is is, is pretty different. Than the um authentics, okay. Uh the shade the shade of the bubble too is um the shade of the bubble too is two different shades. This is more of a translucent tannish shade, and this is more of a translucent brownish I don't know if y'all could tell but definitely those are the differences um right off the rip you could just see that by looking at it cuzzle um tell them about the jump man's on the back let me know if if there's a difference on the jump man's on the back yeah you can see a big difference uh, and how's that you see the replica, look how big this jump man looks compared to this one. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. And then the stitching in the letters too is way different. The stitching here is like, you know, it's done professionally. This one looks sloppy and big. Okay, okay. I definitely agree with that. I definitely 
do agree that this stitching comes out a little bit more. It like pokes out. It has a yeah, it has a more 3D effect look on it because that's how much stitching they used. Um, and yeah, the the writing on this pair is much smaller than that. So that I do agree with. Um, and, and even the color and stitching, it yeah. seems like this one is lighter than this one. Yeah, that more looks like a grayish white. Okay, and this one looks more like a uh, actual white. white. Yeah. Okay, so that's that, man. Um, how about the? We gonna we gonna look at the pull tabs on the back. What are the pull tabs on the back looking like? This the uh, the replica ones look faded. Uh huh. They look like a faded orange. Mm hmm. And the authentic ones, you can see that it looks. It's just lighter. lighter. Yeah, it looks it lighter. It looks lighter, and um, just looks like worn out. You know, I only wore these once, and they're um, kind of getting like a dark blackish tone to it. So, yeah, that's that. Um. We're going to go to the intermediate side. Alright. Um, of course, we do know that uh, the one from DH Gate didn't come with a hang tag. But like I said, for the unauthorized ones, that will be different. The unauthorized ones, they give you more of a bang for your money than just an $80 pair from DH Gate. The qualities are different. So, um, it varies, but this one doesn't have, uh, a hang tag, and this one does. Um, I'm trying to look at the difference. I know this is probably a difference in the holes. It definitely is. All right, so, so. Let's turn this one a little bit more. Mm hmm All right, let's bring this closer. Mm hmm you see the holes right here? Mm -hmm. Look like somebody did that with a pen and started stabbing <laughs> the holes into the truth. Uh -huh. Now, let's bring the authentic ones. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference. Mm. The holes look better, way better. More detailed, yeah. more precise, yeah. more even. Like, is, you could just tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could tell the difference right there. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely agree. <clears throat> and um, how about the shape of the shoe? Uh, how 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 the shape of the shoe looks? Uh, I think they're similar, but like 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 I said, look at how much mm -hmm. orange is here compared to here. This is just a little toe box, and this orange starts much higher. Yeah, you know. Like the replica ones, they look more round and wide mm -hmm. compared to the authentic ones. The authentic ones, you can see there's actually narrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, you know. Okay. So a proportion. I agree. I, I agree. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. So uh, you guys have it, man. All right, we're not gonna get to the inside of the soles and all that because that's not important. That's just doing too much, all right, y'all. So there you have it, man. Um, like I said, does that mean, you know, not to get shoes from DH Gate? No, I'm not saying that. But I am telling you guys that, you know, these are the differences in quality and, and, and what you're going to get. Me personally, I'll still rock the ones from DH Gate. Say I don't want to mess these up. Say, say you know, I want to put them on ice. I got these, you feel me? Um, to wear. Another thing I did notice is it seems like the replica pair is much more tumbled leather. Like like the leather feels like freaking goosebumps. And this one is like nice and smooth. You know? So um that's it man. You already know. Sci-fi kicks in this. Uh shouts out to all my subscribers, new subscribers, old subscribers. Man, um it won't be possible to do this without y'all. Cousin, shouts out to my cousin, man. Yeah, you already, already know. know. You got anything to say? Yeah, don't forget, like I said in the last video, check out my YouTube channel, Bronx Beats. I make instrumentals. I started doing gaming videos on there now, so you know, 
check me out if you like it you know subscribe to share it share my videos share his videos help us you that's know, a fact get on the come up and become famous that's a know? fact that's a fact we're trying man. to do we do take it a step at a time that's a fact man all right man support support the channel man bronx beast you feel me he's definitely doing big things on there he game streams does instrumentals for y'all rappers all that man you feel me stay in tune y'all already know what we doing man and and, and i forgot y'all y'all i knew y'all was gonna talk y'all talk y'all talk spicy because i ain't show this yes the stock edge tag is on there dummy the stock edge tag is on there dumb dumb i i know a lot of y'all gonna be talking spicy it's here you feel me so that's that sci-fi case you already know how we rocking like cut off stockings we in this here